January 1st, 2010. I met a girl last night. Her name is Joanne. We haven't personally met because we're literally oceans apart. She's from the English shore and I'm from the California sun. Elise is our mutual friend and she showed Joanne one of my silly videos. I'm not exactly sure what her reaction was, but I guess it left enough of an impression for her to add me as a friend on Facebook. Facebook? Well, she definitely caught my eye. And I'm not exactly sure where this is gonna go, but it's a brand new year, a brand new decade, the day is bright, and the horizon is wide. That was my journal entry 10 years ago. Exactly 10 years ago to this date. Now, fun fact, I love journaling. I've been journaling for long over 10 years, and I've been journaling ever since. And a fun thing that my wife and I do is that we'd get each other journals uh, every year for Christmas so that we have a new journal to write for the new year. And being that it's 2020, a brand new decade, we thought it'd be kind of fun just to pull out our old journals and just read a couple of entries. And so we did. And so we're just having a good time reading our old journal entries together. We laughed, we kind of cried. But then I pick up the journal that I wrote exactly 10 years ago and open up to a page where I wrote down a list that I completely forgot, and that's the adventure list. And basically the adventure list um, were these crazy, bold, audacious goals and dreams that I wanted to do that year. Things like stand on a glacier, travel to every continent to make at least one person laugh or smile, go hang gliding in Hawaii, shadow a detective. That, that actually sounds pretty cool. I, I may want to revisit that. Basically, just a ton of really bold and audacious dreams that I wanted to do. And as fun as it was reading this list, it almost made me stop and think because I didn't nearly scratch the surface of what I wanted to do on this list. My wife did the same thing and read about her passions and the things that she wanted to do in her life at that time, but never really got around to do because, well, we just didn't. Life happened and we just didn't get a chance to do it. And then we just sat there and just looked at each other and just kind of contemplated and asked, why didn't we get to do those things? The reality is for me, for her, and maybe for some of you, that's just the way it is. That's just reality, isn't it? Life happens, beats you up a little bit, and time goes on and you find yourself not doing the things that you wanted to do. It's like every year we have these resolutions that we want to achieve and accomplish for the new year when really, how often does that really happen? It's like, why even bother making a New Year's resolution if it's only gonna end up in disappointment? Why bother making an adventure list, a list of these bold and audacious things when you know you're not gonna accomplish even half of it? Well, that's exactly what my wife and I talked about last night. And we weren't actually sad or discouraged. We actually felt the opposite. You see, even though that we didn't get to do nearly half of the things that we wanted to do 10 years ago, we got to do a heck of a lot more things in our life that were far greater than the dreams that we wrote down in our journals. I got married the same year I wrote that journal entry. Never thought that was gonna happen. So cool. I got to travel the world with my wife. We roamed Rome. We ate ice cream in Paris. We went on a date in the Philippines. We rode quad bikes in the Sinai Desert. I almost got arrested in Egypt. That's a story for another time. Basically, don't film hieroglyphs in a pyramid. But after thinking about the things that we didn't get to do, we just started celebrating the things that we got to do. I mean, I wrote this adventure list down and one of the things that I've, I've written down is to, is to stand on a glacier. Now, I haven't done that still, but I got to take an epic road trip from Vancouver all the way up to the Arctic Ocean where I actually stood on the Arctic Ocean. Far more epic than just standing on a stupid glacier. I have a YouTube channel. I am a YouTuber and I have the absolute best community that I absolutely love and adore. That's you guys. And I never thought that that would happen 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I wanted to start a production company, but this is this is way more fun. <laughs> this is uh, this is my new journal, my journal for 2020. It's pretty cool. And uh, I've kind of revised my adventure list because uh, I completely forgot about it. And so I just kind of rewrote some of the things I still want to do and added a few more crazy things like, I want to go paramotoring around a volcano in Iceland. That's cool. The whole point of the adventure list is to dream. You might reach your dreams and you might not, but it's in the effort that can sometimes lead you to a different path that might end up becoming a better dream. And that's the whole point of the adventure list. That's the whole point of an adventure, going on an unexpected path that would eventually lead you to where you're meant to be. And for me, this list led me to her and this amazing adventure that I'm on. Everybody should journal. It's such a fun thing to do. And if you don't have a journal, pick one up and start journaling. And even write down your own adventure list and see what happens. It's worth trying. All right, guys. Here's the 2020. Happy New Year.